be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers, okay? Now, today's video, I'm going to be going over how to make a glow rilla type beat in Logic Pro 10. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is go ahead and start with a software instrument track and go ahead and do a default patch, okay, under instrument. So, this is right there. Um, Y'all all have all heard her hit FNF. I'm not going to say what it means, but y'all know y'all heard that song. Um, if you haven't heard the song, whatever, for whatever reason, just look up glow Rilla FNF and then you'll kind of get a reference for this, but everybody's heard it. Okay. Um, the beat has a piano in it. So let's start off with some type of catchy piano. I'm actually going to come over here. Uh, make sure you go ahead and click up at the top. If you haven't already done that, I'm going to click on piano and we'll just get this grand piano right here. All right, so cool. Once we got our piano, I need to make sure I have my MIDI keyboard hooked up. Let's give it a second. All right, there we go. All right, bet. So now it's time to find a, a simple melody. If you really listen to the uh, the F and F song, it was really a very, very, very simple piano melody. So we'll uh, try to find something like that. And I actually believe this is the actual key. That's literally what they, they play, those three notes. But we're going to play something different. So let me come up with something different. All right, so we'll do something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. Three notes. Let's go. Actually, let's uh, get this BPM to probably around like 160-ish, that range. Literally just come with something super simple like that. All right, we're gonna quantize it. And then from here, I'll go ahead and make a copy of this, Command D. We're gonna hold down the option and drag this down. And then I'm actually gonna highlight this and then push uh, Shift Option and the down arrow. And then now we have a low version and a high version. time to get an even lower version hold down option drag it down and then I'll push uh, command I mean shoot excuse me option shift and down arrow and all this is do doing is just moving this pattern um, a whole um, octave down all right cool so now we have our basic piano um, melody Now that we had that, we need some drums, right? So let's go ahead and actually, uh, we're gonna, I have some drums already ready to go in my quick sampler in the library. So we'll pull up the quick sampler. If you do not know how to load samples into the quick sampler and save them, it's pretty simple. Um, you just click open this quick, quick sampler and you just drag and drop sounds right in here. So instead of doing this, I'm going to go ahead and show that to y'all, man. Instead of uh, just using pre-made sounds, let's go over here to Apple Loops at the top right of the screen. And if you see sound packs right here, you can go there and get some like different drum kits. And so what we'll do is go to the genre, go to hip hop and all drums, go to these packs right here. So let's see, let's pick, pick one of these. Um, let's see what this boy's noise is. So this is going to be not what I'm looking for here. Okay, so we can probably find some sounds in here. Um, I'm looking for a snare. So I can actually come in here and type snare. And it should pull up all the snares from this kit. So this one is decent. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this into the quick sampler. And, and I'm just gonna uh, grab one of these just by bringing these points like this. 
and probably like that. If I click there, I can keep it going forward. I usually like to turn this loop off. And because it's a one shot, I'll just go to one shot mode. And so this is kind of extending too long. So let me put it like this. So we'll just do something simple like that. Let's uh, go ahead and lay this snare down. Okay, so now we have that. Let's go ahead and um, grab a kick. Um, same type of deal here. I'll just type in kick. So that's perfect. That's a good kick right there. Same deal. I'm just going to grab one of these kicks, turn off the loop. And we'll put it in one shot mode, put a little tail on it, just fade it out. Bet. So let's go ahead and lay down some uh, type of that um, let's listen to it again that so I got a glow rilla feel to it let's go ahead and uh, add some hi-hats and this is this for everybody who's like man I want to you know be able to sample and all this type of stuff this is a good video for that because I'm showing you how to sample and also find the sounds in here so this should be dope let me know in the comment section below if you like this video um, also let me know in the comment section below if there's another type of artist type of beat that you want me to make um, you know those type of things all right All right, cool. So I like this hi hat, and um, same thing. All right, bet. So I'm just gonna play it manually. reason didn't catch that last deal here Pretty much the last thing you will probably want to go ahead and add is an 808. Um, let's see if they have some dope 808s. They might not, but we'll see. All right, I don't, I'm not seeing any 808s in that pack. Let me just search all, see. I don't know why some of these are labeled 808 because it does not necessarily sound like All right, I'm just going to grab this one taking it to the beginning of this part and then we're going to grab it all the way to where it, it tails off like this again turn off this loop i kind of wish that the loops were man you like you can put turn it on rather than have to turn it on off after every time so let's see here 
So we'll do that. We'll do this one shot. Matter of fact, we're not going to do one shot on this, uh, <clears throat> on this, just simply because, you know, 808 sometimes can run into each other. And so what we're also going to want to do is uh, find like the basic, <clears throat> like how, how the melody of the 808. And so like what I usually like to do is find that root note. And really, I can pretty much follow the, uh, you know, what I have here for real, for real. So literally, I could take this piano and just drag it down. But this is a little too low. So what I'll do is just uh, push shift option and up. So now let's see how this sounds. And I might have to like chop up some of these 808. Put that command T. Now, pretty much we just got to label everything and we'll be ready for the next part or process of this beat or, or part of the process of this beat. Um, what is this? A hi hat? Let's say hat. I think this is the kick. Yep. Yeah. And then this is our snare. If y'all want me to make a part two of this, let me know in the comment section below. And <clears throat> I might just go ahead and bring back the actual. Uh, you know some more parts of this you know cr creating this beat but ultimately man as y'all can see we have a good vibe going here it definitely sounds at least to me like a glorilla type beat um i'll play it a little bit um after we end this uh but yeah man make sure y'all go to my site beatmakingbasics.com okay at beatmakingbasics.com it's gonna be like your number one resource uh, for producers to like grow in music production, especially if you're a beginner. So go to beatmakingbasis.com, shop courses, shop uh, sound kits. Also, you can book a one on one with me if you want to meet me and ask any questions live. Um, and we also have a couple of little bits of merch. So go over to the site now um, after you subscribe, if you're not already subscribed and check out what we got on the site, man. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next video. So now let's kind of check out this beat before this beat before we leave.